So now we have a ball that can move and bounce against walls. Now we just need to construct some, um, some walls to make a maze and make a goal and maybe put some uh, obstacles in the way. So we have images over here for the goal and for the obstacle. Um, while we're at it, let's go look at the actors and drag up a goal object and rename it thing goal and drag up this one. I'm going to call it hole because that's traditionally where the ball falls and I'm going to change the color of that so it's a little bit more alarming. Maybe make it yellow. To do that, double click it, go to color. I'm going to make that thing yellow. Ooh, that's pretty large. Maybe I should change the properties of that actor. Change its size, yes. So I'm going to make it 48 by 48. Game Salad loves sizes, which are multiples of four, and preferably um, like perfect square numbers, like 16 and 32. Um, good. So now I'm going to put a couple of these out here and see what happens when we run over them. I'm also going to put a goal out before I drag it in. I'm going to change its size. 36. It's good. 36, 4 times 9. So 36 even by 36. Perfect size for a goal. And I'm going to put one goal over here. When I play the game, what happens? Surely I can I can drive the, the actor through there. But what happens when I run over a hole? Well, actually, it looks like I run under a hole, doesn't it? And I probably run under the, the goal. So here's why that's happening. That's happening because we added the goals after we added the marble. So we can arrange that in a number of ways. The easiest way is to right click with on a Mac is two fingers down and just say bring to front or send to front. And now that marble will roll on top of those but we don't want it to just roll on top of those. When it hits that, when it collides with that, we want it to actually cause the scene to restart. So that's an easy rule. Under the ball, we say when this actor, we create a rule, when this actor overlaps or collides with an actor of type whole, what happened? Well, we can actually reset the whole scene. There we go. So now, whenever we hit one of those, it starts us over from scratch. Boop. Boop. Um, we might want to have something else happen when we hit the goal, but let's worry about the goal in a bit. Let's, let's actually make this a maze. So we can add some more walls into our maze. We can rearrange the existing actors that we have there. I'm going to put the marble down here in the bottom left corner and make that the starting place and just narrow these things down. Uh, we might inspect this and say its width is going to be 24. I wonder if I can do 16 by 160. See how that looks. That looks fine. So I can make a wall here and say, all right. And we can option drag this and make some more of them. Option drag. And this is not meant to be a really hard maze on the first level. We just want the player to find a, a, their feel for the game and figure out how it's played. So we'll put something there, put something there. Um, something here. And how can we hide that that goal? Let's change the size of this one to 160 by 16. So it's sideways now. And ooh, I don't know. Where do we want to hide that goal? What if we hide the, the goal down here? There we go. 
and then make them come all the way around for it. So I can duplicate one of these. And I can duplicate one of these. Make it a bit shorter. I can always fix the height of that in a minute. We know it's 16 tall. Scoot it up some. Now we have a maze. And I want to rotate that one. Bring that down. The 270 even should be its rotation. Make its size 16 wide. Scoot it over. Maybe I can bring that one down. To, yeah, okay. So now I, I have a goal, and I, I think I want to make one more vertical wall right there, but not make it as tall. It's about like that. And again, you can always mess with its size by changing the number and make it 16 wide. And use the arrow keys to scoot it over. So there's my maze. Can I play it? So sure enough, I can come around that way, over here. Oh, ooh, I died. We could probably put some sound effects in for when that happens. Change the color of some things, maybe. Is this playable? Aha. Ha. It's playable, but I it, I have no behavior programmed into that in case I reach it. Now, one thing I want to bring our attention to is that over here, I died, and I died unfairly. There's an opportunity for me to get close to that and not actually touch it and still lose my life. Did you notice that? I can do it up here, too. And that's because both of these graphics are actually rectangles. And with there being rectangles, they have invisible corners that kind of reach out and can touch. So there's a couple things I need to do. On the ball, under physics, I need to change collision shape to circle. On the hole, I need to change, under physics, the collision shape to circle. And all of these other circular actors, like the goal, I need to come over here and change physics collision shape circle. Now, when I play the game, I can get really close to that goal without actually touching and I won't die. And that's a little bit more fair, I believe. Now, only when I touch it do I actually lose a life. And I, I, I don't have a number of lives yet. That could be something that we want to work out. And after you lose all your lives, you have to start the whole game over. But if you just fall once, you just start your scene over. So now, let's make this thing winnable. What happens when I collide with, win the ball, create a new rule. This rule is going to be an overlapser collides with an actor of type goal. What happens? Well, we need to open a new scene. There it is, change scene. What scene are we changing it to? Well, we don't really have another scene. So let's go over here to our scenes, scenes, and let's add a new scene using this plus button. We'll call it level two. So now when the ball collides with the goal, change to the next scene, specifically level number two. 
Now let's see what happens. Let's test it. It's important whenever you add some new functionality to test what you've done without going too far because sometimes when you add something new you break something old. Perfect. We've gone on to scene number two which is empty but we know it works. In the next tutorial we're going to make level two which is larger than one screen.